Hello, soldier. Captain? We need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, madam. I'm listening. How would you describe your training? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, madam. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no, of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. I was told that this recruit was very talented. I... I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No, it's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain. These kids are scared to death. Yes. This boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. You can't hide the lies. Soldier. Captain. At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, my lady. Really? Go on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Mm. That's an interesting way to phrase it. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Rainer sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about Recruit Rainer. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. Lieutenant, report. Captain? Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go. I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. <laughs> Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry, Captain Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think he'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? What's really going on here? We know that Rainer didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the Guard's elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. And they call us barbarians. We could never put our own children through this. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. 
but what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. As for Reyna, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Rayna. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Kurt, Wilhelm has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They are humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rainer wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. That recruits are summoned. And the others beat them. Sometimes to death. I know. You know about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? I'm so sorry. I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement, which they refused to open for me. You're full of anger, Saint Gods. Take a deep breath and think. Then tell us your plan. Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight. Especially Wilhelm. Strange. There's no one left in this part of the camp. Maybe they're in the combat pit behind the barracks. I saw it when I visited the camp. Or they've already left for their night training. Let's find Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement.
This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantine knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems. Including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinder was right. Locked. This room. What could have happened in here? I know this smell only too well. Fear, blood, death. These people have turned this place into a site of suffering. It will take years of work to erase its traces. This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Rainer shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. That's the young man who helped us, isn't it? They will probably kill him for it. We can't let them kill him. We must stop this training immediately. The risk is that Rolf will ambush us. If this boy dies because of us, I will never forgive myself. I refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in... You surprise me once again, Kurt. You are full of compassion for these youngsters. They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can, Kurt. I can't promise anything more. It's blocked. Despite what Wilhelm told me, I wasn't on, expecting this. He's getting Let's destroyed. See. They'll kill him. We can't let them get away Come with him. Stop. We won't let you kill this boy like you killed Rayna. Soldiers! Do you realize what you're doing? Captain? But... You shouldn't be here. This time, you won't get away with it. To arms! When my master of arms was in the guard, he always repeated, fight with honor. What honor is there in lynching one of your own when he's defenseless? What honor is there in being forced to kill one another the moment one of you refuses to toe the line? No. We followed orders. Nothing more. You've been manipulated. But it's not too late to refuse all of this, to act with honor. You're right, Captain. It's over, Lieutenant. We will no longer beat our own. Imbeciles. Traitors. 
Will you be all right? I'm wounded, but I'll survive. Thanks to you. I'm eternally grateful. Come, Wilhelm. We'll help you get home. We owe you that at least. I'm counting on you to bring him back to the camp in one piece. Yes, Captain. Well then, let's go. We can't let that vermin Rolf escape us. Let's hope that Rolf didn't hear the sounds of combat. Surprise is our best ally. You're right. Let's try to approach discreet. It's blocked. <laughs> Kurt, you're so predictable. I knew you were a bastard, but I didn't think you'd be part of this disgrace. Have fun, soldiers! The traitors must die! Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors! Soldiers, listen to your captain. 
You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We surrendered without resistance, to avoid a fight and to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders, and we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! It was nearly Wilhelm's turn tonight. It could have been any of you. That lies. Only the weak fall. So we must prove that we aren't among them. Nonsense. I've seen more combat than any of you, and I've seen hundreds of soldiers die. Weak or not, I've seen this kind of camp before, full of torture and sadistic officers. I thought it was a thing of the past, but I was wrong. So help me make sure this camp really is the last of them. You... You're right, Captain. If we don't put down our weapons, this will never end. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You've trained cowards. Their training wasn't finished, Captain. And the speeches were so convincing. Silence! Where is this second squadron? Should have been here a long time ago. They're not coming, Rolf. They surrendered, too. It would appear that your training methods aren't very effective. Now that you no longer have lackeys to send after us, Rolf, you'll have to get your own hands dirty. I've dreamt of shutting that big mouth of yours up for so long. <laughs> Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. What about you, Wilhelm? Thank you for saving my life. Without you... I hope you can forget all about this. This is not what the Guard is about. I don't know if you'll be able to forgive us, Wilhelm. I've been in your shoes on other nights. You didn't have the choice. While we wait for this camp to close for good, You'll be under Wilhelm's command. You'll soon receive your transfer orders. At your orders, Captain. Glad it's you, Wilhelm. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go see her immediately. Sieglinda, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp. A secret camp where elite soldiers are trained through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. 
But Torsten allowed it, even encouraged it. I told you that the Commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard, and that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinder. And reveal the Commander's project to the Governor of the Congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me, he won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinder. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you. Desarde, I'd like to know more about my family. I need to know what became of them. Could you accompany me to see Lady Morange? I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. All right, Vasco. Let's go see Lady Lorene Morange. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course! Lady de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. 
But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastien Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business, but that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Do not worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Come closer, good people. You? Are you here to do business? Are you Madam Clerk? We would like to meet with your associate, Mr. Darcy. Bastian? I don't know where he is. I can't say that he often graces us with his presence. You don't have the slightest idea where he is? I am not his caretaker, you know. You don't seem to hold him in high regard. Listen, my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern. And if you didn't come to do business, well... We must find him. This man you can see by my side is his brother. Do not insult my intelligence. I know that the Darcy's only have one son, alas. You can see the Nort tattoos on his face, can't you? And a merchant like you must surely know about the Nort's recruiting process. So it is true. The Darcy's gave away one of their children. I find it hard to believe. He was supposed to go to Hickman to deal with one of our clients. But I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam.
If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farad? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but... I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate, or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. And why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you are not telling us everything. Oh, uh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs, if there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me, and I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult, but ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists, while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. How can a brilliant, conscientious alchemist keep working here? I am certain that any great laboratory in town would welcome you with open arms. So why continue protecting your employer? Oh, you're right. Anywhere is better than here. My boss did not only curse the name of the man you're looking for, he also hired some thugs to find him and our shipment. Interesting. I think we may need to have a few words with your employer. If you could also tell him that I am resigning, then I won't need to go upstairs. You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. 
Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are, and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastion survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me. of alchemy, the best potions and the most efficient concoctions. Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost! Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to take care of this. How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay in his stead, my lady, please do. I don't think you realize who you're dealing with. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the congregation, and I'm here to save the life of one of our citizens. If you do not deliver him to me immediately, I will have no choice but to inform the governor. And you'll end up rotting in jail in no time. Damn it, they look serious. Yes, a bit too much. Listen, we don't want to get in trouble with the governor, so take him! Yeah, if our client wants to get repaid, he'll have to make an official request. Come. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and sea given. It was a pleasure, sir. Desarde, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? 
You seemed really attached to Rainer. He brought some memories back. I was a bit like him at his age. I felt responsible for his well-being. After all, I recruited him. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous of this poor kid. Don't be foolish. It's just that you seemed so hurt about everything he went through. I wanted to understand how you felt. That's kind. I'm sorry I made that stupid comment. This whole matter makes me nervous. I should have known that you were far too subtle to feel like that. Anything else? I must leave you. Thank you, Desaade. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one at that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy.
I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? It would be my pleasure, but I'm too busy at the moment. Later, maybe. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. <laughs>